friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be checking out some things that TikTok made me buy. What's in the box? Open it up. I think it's a speaker. No, it's pouring water in it. It's a humidifier. Oh, it's the fire one. Okay, I don't know why I haven't bought this yet. For the record, I buy a lot of things I see online. It's almost unhealthy. Like, I will see a TikTok and be like, oh my God, that's so cool. Instantly search for something and then instantly buy it. A TikTok just showing something off is like the best advertisement. It's the future. Nobody gonna watch a commercial and buy something. They gonna watch a TikTok. But like, I can't believe this. I love humidifiers. Well, I don't love them but I need them to be able to breathe through my nose. But this one looks like fire. Actually, you know what? It looks cool, but I want it like pitch black when I'm trying to go to sleep. So there's not really a point in the cool fire-like light. Okay, I just convinced myself I don't need it. My favorite car accessory. Oh, that's cool. A Hello Kitty and she moves? The little dancey dance? I know this is like an option that some cars have, like Mercedes, when you like open the door, they have like the logo on the floor. It's kind of corny, but I didn't know you could get like custom ones, like Hello Kitty, to greet you. Now step on her every time you get out of your car. I never knew that there were so many different devices to make ice. You know, I thought it was the ice cube tray. You just like fill it up with water and just eh, eh, pop out some ice cubes. You see this little green goblin? This for the psychopaths that like to eat crunchy ice. Personally, no. If I'm thirsty and ran out of drink water, I will eat the ice. Only when desperate. Some people eat it for sport because they enjoy the taste and texture of crispy ice. And now you can make it at home. I thought it was just a really bad mold, but no. They did exactly what they wanted. I finally made some ice for you ice munching psychopaths. What is that? Piece of paper? Piece of card? Don't tell me that's a sponge. <gasps> it's a sponge! Oh man, that is absorbent. I am very impressed with how absorbent this sponge is. That was. I they remember this dude's crazy Russian hacker. And just tighten it up and he on TikTok it now? Stick it in. What you got in your toilet? What you sticking in your toilet? See what happens. No way, did it do it? Y'all just shot something in your toilet? I've seen something like this before. This is how you unclog a toilet. They have like these cartridges and they just like shoot it down your toilet hole and it will unclog your toilet every time. The plunger of the future. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to successfully plunge a toilet and without anybody finding out that you clogged it, cover up all the evidence. Magnetic charging cord. So instead of your wire just like chilling like this, it will automatically like wrap up back together and always be perfectly neat for you organized freaks. I would buy most of these. A tent for your bed, but why? For some extra privacy. Oh, if you don't have blinds, it'll be like pitch black. Well, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night sweating for a glass of ice cold water and this. At least no bugs will bite you. Cup organizer? What do you mean a cup organizer? Oh, if you don't have enough space in your cabinet for your insane mug collection, you put this cup organizer on top of the mug and then stack another mug upside down on top of it. And then use all that space to buy even more useless mugs that you don't even use. You flip over this TV remote and they have an entire keyboard on the back. So when you ask me to type in my username and password, instead of doing one letter at a time, you just flip it over and then just like type it in. Genius. There is a bed designed just for side sleepers. Finally, somebody did it. Your arm goes in. So y'all don't wake up with jelly arms anymore. Bro, the other day I fell asleep on my arm. I woke up. I was so scared my arm didn't work anymore. But now you got like this hidden compartment where you just slip your arm and just perfect side sleeping every time. I'm gonna need that bed. Okay, I will tell you, I saw this and I already bought three of them before it was sold out. I'm still waiting for them to come in the mail. But good golly gosh, look how cool this is. If you know me, I love Halloween decor. When Home Goods starts putting out the Halloween decor, that means it's time to decorate. Middle of August, I don't care. I can't wait for summer to be over anyway. They look so spooky. Like they're just floating candles. It's like Harry Potter. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put these. Also, do you have to like hang them up individually? I don't know, I'll let you guys know. Light blocking stickers. Oh, that's actually genius. Because every time I try to fall asleep tonight, all the lights are off. And then I still have all these random lights on for my humidifier, for my air purifier. Like they all got this one random blue light. And then all somebody did was sell some black stickers and market them as light blocking stickers. Okay, this is genius. Just take my money. I'm gonna be putting these on every unnecessary light. Electric nail clipper. Oh, I don't trust that one bit. I 
cut my nails manually. You told me there's a device for it now? How does it know the difference between nail and skin? What if it goes a little too far? Yeah, I don't trust these things. This alarm clock literally got feet and runs away from you. So you gotta get up out of bed, chase it down, and then turn it off. By the time you do that, you'll be wide awake. And I'll still sleep through it. What people think when I say I sell lighters. Those are so boring. What I actually sell. Oh, I love these. Bro, where do I get me one of those? Like you got the fire there? And then it's the flavors like switches? That's sick. It's like a mini flamethrower. Lighted. Oh, that is such a cute blender. Just watch it blend your juice, and then you drink it from the same thing you blended it in. Sorry, I don't drink from where I blend. It's got a little blender at the bottom. What if the blender accidentally comes on when you're drinking it? I have all these unnecessary fears that when I say them out loud, sound a little more necessary. I've seen a lot of these like handheld blenders. They can barely blend anything. They're never powerful enough. You know, I gotta buy a $350 Vitamix to be able to blend ice and make a proper smoothie. Don't tell me anything USB power can crush ice. I don't believe it. I have been through way too many of those handheld blenders. They are no good. What you got there? What is that? Open it up. Now playing. Is it going to light up? Oh, don't forget to pop all the bubble wrap. Time to pick one. I thought those were books for a second. They're records. Ah. That's actually pretty neat now. It's a now playing sign. So when you pop your record in, you put the cover on the now playing. So you know exactly what's playing. I know it's a lot of work, but this is what self care looks like. It just looks nice. What is that? Oh, that's a human design, all right. Y'all just circumcise the light to turn it on. Ugh. I'm not sure I like this. The design is very human. Yes, yes it is. It's kind of weird. If your neighbor's lights are just like flickering on and off, you know why. Random Amazon finds it just slap. This portable fan lets you stay cool when working outside or being outdoors. It's rechargeable, has three fan speeds with super strong airflow. You can clip it onto your belt or wear it as a necklace, and you can even charge your phone with it. A portable fan? Yeah, I only seen like those handheld ones. Sometimes they got like a spray bottle attached to them. But like now you can get one. It's like a mini AC that you clip on and then like put under your shirt and then it's like blowing cold air, drying up all that boob sweat. Get your dad one of these for Father's Day. Something that's a actually use. Dad's walking around Disney with this on their neck, thinking they're better than everyone. That is a sharp knife. <gasps> no! Oh, it wasn't real. <gasps> Bro annihilated him. That's a big bone. There's no way. Yeah, see? The knife doesn't work, bro. You just don't know how to use it. Oh, yeah, you just weak. All right, let's see it. Woo! It's all in the swing of the arm. Okay, I get it, it's sharp. Water bottle? <gasps> Sliced in half. A shirt? Can't cut it. What's wrong with you? I gotta buy another knife for that? Dang, that ripped like butter! Okay, you have to be strong, huh? Because nobody else can cut anything unless his hand is on it. Ugh, whatever, I guess I'll buy your stupid knife. The Jewel Cooler, the first car van accessory for staying fresh and cold between your legs while driving around Whoa. on a hot summer day. This one-of-a-kind breezy upgrade device will magnetically snap onto your car's vent and features our directional head that easily slides under your shorts. Then just crank up the fan speed and live your best life feeling crisp all summer long. Y'all balls really get that sweaty? That you gotta buy a whole other attachment and slip it in like, guys, is this really necessary? What's next? Y'all gonna ask for a DLC with a vacuum? This spatula has a little stand. So you want you to put it down on the counter. It doesn't touch the countertop. Why haven't I seen this? I always be putting down a tissue or like a wrapper. I be putting anything on the countertop but the spatula. But now they got one with a little stand. I swear, I learn about so many things during these videos. This wall desk also turns into a bed desk. So you can eat and work from the comfort of your bed. You Y'all eat in your bed? That's nasty. Who eats in their bed? Nothing except water is allowed in my room. Y'all ain't scared of the crumbs that will inhabit your bed? No, it's okay, don't worry, the bed bugs will eat them. What are you gonna do with that? Move your car? Pay how much to tow my car? Nah, actually.
actually, I slap some wheels on the wheels and then just drag it. I did not think this was possible, but here we are. Saw with my own two eyes. This is the future. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some cool gadgets that I saw on TikTok. She got one of those Iron Man masks. I cannot get over how cool this is. Like the movements and everything, it looks so realistic. And it'll just open up. No way. I saw this shower attachment on TikTok where it's a razor that has water coming out of it at the same time. So instead of using like a shaving cream, it shaves with water. Wow. Okay, but now use it on somebody who actually got hair. Say less. Whoa, okay, that is very efficient. Oh, silky smooth. That shit is real good. Personally, this screams irritation. What is this? This is a crush metric. What is that? A pen? A fancy pen? Pick it up. Does it got white ink? Is it metal? Oh, whoa. How was it doing that? How could it go from textured to flat? Like, it don't make no sense to me. Whoa. Oh, that was so cool. I'm not impressed on perfect serial texture. So this is the bracelet that breaks windows. So let's see how well it does. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spread it out. You're gonna pull I it back. I cannot believe a bracelet it, okay? can break a window. There's no way it's that strong. That's fake. Knock it over. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. Did it not look edited? Like it looked fake when he broke the window. Look, like it just instantly shattered. If he didn't do that, I wouldn't have believed him. That is insane. I still don't believe one flick. Oh, I wanna try it out so bad. I'm gonna be real annoyed if it actually works. So there are these backcrackers on TikTok. I already ordered one of these. Cause look, there are different levels that you can adjust it to to get the maximum amount of crack. Lay down on it. Oh, oh that was nice. Okay, that sounded like a little more than your back. <laughs> you sure it wasn't something else? Crack so good I sharded. <laughs> People who are terrified of bugs have been buying this device to get them out of your house. It literally captures them. Oh, it has a backing that closes them in. They have been captured, taken hostage. Now you have two options. Or no, three options. Release them into the wild or nearby somebody's house that you don't like. Take them hostage. Make them your pet, perhaps. Leave them in the container to pass away. Four options. Capture more bugs in the same container and make them fight to death. Okay, you know what? The possibilities are endless. I did not know Costco had this tool. If Costco has I did not know Costco had this tool. If Costco has this tool, why didn't they share it with the rest of the pizza world? Hey, why Costco gatekeeping the pizza cutter? I didn't even know such a tool existed. You're telling me everybody can have an equal slice? Look how perfectly it's cut. It's almost like you could actually separate the slices without them sticking to each other. Costco, the jig's up. Time to share with the rest of the world. Wait, is that what I think it is? Whoa, is that what I think? Wait, you put tea in it? You put it in a cup. Oh, at first I was like, Ugh. but now I'm like, hmm, it is a little butt, like a reusable tea bag. But the tea happens to be in a turd hanging from the tush. Oh, then pour hot water, dip the little tea bag, and I gotta like it. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, is that a straw? Are you gonna dr Hey, did claws just come out of that straw? Oh, you pull out the pickle with it. No pickle juice. It's almost like you could have put your finger in and just like pulled it out, but that's none of my business. At least she is not drinking the pickle juice with the straw. I want some pickles after this. This might look like a toy gun, but you actually fill it up with condiments. So either mustard, ketchup, perhaps steak sauce. Load her up, and then you can like pull the trigger and squeeze out the mustard. Not as effective as a squeezy bottle. Definitely a lot more fun. So you mean I can't aim and shoot my ketchup 10 feet across the room to the nearest hot dog? Useless. What I bought versus what I got. What is that? Oh, it's a clock. Oh, y'all took it to the next level. How do you make everything look so cool? I actually love this clock. I might buy it. But it looks so perfect when the rest of the room is dark. Everybody's room looks so cool. And I'm still living in the same room as 2015. It's a table. No, not any table. A rotating table. Oh no, it gets bigger, and then it's smaller, and then it gets bigger again. These chairs are actually part of the furniture. They fit perfectly in the table. Same with these chairs. So it just looks like a table. Perfect if you are renting a shoebox in the city, or have a meltdown whenever you see the sight of a chair. I just got a book reading light. Man, that's a piece of plastic. Oh, it lights up. <gasps> 
Oh, you just put it on the page and it like lights up the page? As cool as that light is, I don't understand why people like being in a dark room and like on their phone or on a screen or something like, I don't know, maybe that's why I don't have LEDs in my room because like I like the light on. Nobody use regular light anymore. Like everyone on TikTok got their purple ambient room. Like do y'all's eyes not hurt? This is probably the coolest thing I've built as a comp sci major. This is kind of like a modern day record player. Modern day record player? It's a wooden box. Basically I have all these records here and all I have to do is just tap it and it starts playing my song. No way. So I can't play it out loud because copyright, but basically I have my iPad in the background to just demonstrate the song changes. What? This is some new technology? So is this the basically future? we have a Raspberry Pi in here and oh. we have an RFID scanner. And basically what happens is as soon as you scan a card, based on the value of this card that the scanner reads, it'll play the track using the Spotify API. Okay, that is incredible. If she did not lift the box and show me the little doohickey with all the wires underneath, I wouldn't have believed it for a hot second. No, that is a wooden box from the Ikea. And those are pieces of paper. Uh, me, a time traveler from the past, refusing to believe that this is a modern day record player. But the technology makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And that is incredible. Why would you spend $5 on a pack of finger chopsticks? Are you dumb? So when you're playing games, you don't get crusty fingers. You know, you can always tell what kind of person somebody is by looking at their controller. Is it crusty around the joysticks? Uh-oh. What I meant to say is it's perfectly normal to have a crusty controller. Whoa. What kind of door handle is that? It's locked. It is fingerprint activated. So I thought only the super mega rich people with very expensive closets would have these. And they were unattainable. But now apparently you could just buy them off TikTok. Your phone got a fingerprint thing on it. Like now your door can have it. So you tell me burglars don't even need a key these days? All they gotta do is take your thumb. Yo guys, check out this gaming toilet chair. Oh, they got a gaming toilet chair. Oh, it lifts up. Wait, are you telling me this whole thing was an animation? This thing doesn't actually exist? I thought it was real until that came out. The robotic hand. That automatically wipes you. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Better watch where you put those fingers. Like, what if it wipes a little too hard? And you got the Terminator's hand shoved up your ass. How do they make waffle fries? You basically just cut them with this comb-like knife. Oh, and it makes them wavy. You can get the wavy potatoes, the wavy vegetables. Oh, the wavy carrots, I love those. And then the wavy fries. It looks like it would be hard to cut. Like the potato gonna put up a struggle. I guess that's how they do it. Look at all these packages. All the gadgets she bought off TikTok. I've been seeing this thing a lot. It's like a new fidget spinner. It's like a floating string, but it like moves really fast. Like you could lasso things with it. Like it's the wild, wild west. What's that? Pop a fruit in it. Peel an apple? Or is it a pear? It's one of those Asian pears. Those are good. Okay, but why would you peel it? Personally, I like the skin on fruit. Oh, the chopsticks. So when you're playing your game, you're not even using a controller. Can't you just like pick up the food and just when I'm eating and when I'm playing games, I pick up the food with my nails and then like, I don't let my nails touch the actual buttons. Maybe that's why my controller is crusty, but like, I will play with like this part of my finger and then the, the fingertip is for the food picking, okay? And I will occasionally lick off the Cheeto dust so it doesn't accumulate and go everywhere. I'm very messy, but also extremely clean and a germaphobe. Is that a foam protector? Oh, it's a label maker. What is that? What kind of foam is that? Oh no. No way, no way. You put regular soap in it and then you just like hammer it a few times and it makes it into foam? Such a thing exists? You mean I can pre-foam any soap? What else you got? A cup dispenser? It is useful, but it's kind of tacky for your house, like having a whole entire cup dispenser in the kitchen. I love to feel like it's a hotel lobby. There's this little case that sticks onto your shower, so you can watch TV in the shower, completely waterproof. You know, sometimes I need a break from my phone, and the shower is like that one place that you do not need a screen. You don't need to be looking at your screen, like, during a shower. There is this little device, you clip it on your tray in an airplane, and then you put your phone on it and it's like the perfect tripod. I don't know why planes don't have somewhere to put your phone. You expect us to sit there two and a half hours holding this thing? Of course not, I'm taking a nap. 
Before, early prototype of my first invention. Whoa, what a flex, my first invention. This is like a squeezy bottle, oh. Do you milk your shampoo bottles? Yes, you do, the squeezy. I, I don't know how I feel about milking my shampoo bottles. It could be fun. Also, that looks like it's gonna fall. Everything I put on my shower wall falls. All I could imagine is it running out and me having to like aggressively milk the shampoo nozzle. So you get this device, put some water and soap on a dirty dish. So this is like stick to the dish. Is it gonna clean it? It starts buzzing and cleaning. It did such a great job. I'm calling scam on this one. I feel like you could have just rinsed that out and it would have had the same effect. This seems like way too much effort with all the effort of pulling out this thing, putting it on the dirty dish and then taking it off. Like I, I could have just washed this in like two seconds. There is this tray that lets you carry a bunch of drinks without them spilling. It's all because of the design of the handle. So it's like you can swing it and nothing is gonna spill. And you can swing it aggressively and the mug will not move. I'm gonna get me one of these because I am clumsy. When Asian aunties see my rice dispenser. Ooh, that is fancy. I have never seen anything like that. You mean there is an alternative to shoveling rice out of the bag and into the pot? We could put it in a dispenser and then just turn a lever. Get the perfect amount of rice. That's pretty good. I'm trying to be like you, my boy. This is the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. This is $3,000. Hey, that's and, a uh, monitor. Basically, it's as tall as me. I've and seen the curved monitors, but why is it so long? That's like my entire desk. Monitor. When I say build, I mean just set it up. Are you saying I have to turn my head to look at one side of the screen and then turn it around to look at the other side? Oh, I can't tell if this would be like super good for gaming or absolutely horrible. It looks like it's stretched out. It's simply too long. Hello friends, it's me, and today we're gonna be checking out some cool gadgets that I saw on TikTok. There's a fork and there's a spork, and then there's this thing. A double fork? A knife fork? Oh, whoa, no, that is very satisfying. That's cheating. That is the best part of the watermelon. And you just got it on easy mode, just skirt. I wish I was there, I love watermelon. I would love to take that piece you just cut. Why cut with knife when you can just cut with string? Very good. I need this immediately. It is a pet brush, but when it's full of hair, you just press a button and it ejects the clump of fur. And my dogs, they shit a lot. Why haven't they made this for humans? Like a brush, instead of like pulling the hair out, you just press a button and it's released. This is genius, I will be purchasing one. Let they brush the cat, and then when it fills up, it's a snack for the cat. Oh, no snack. It just snatched it. It came from me, it will go back inside me. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> There is this ice maker that makes mini ice cubes. But wait, when it's frozen and you open it, you just flip it over, tap it a couple of times, and well, bam, you have a whole container full of ice. And it's a small kind that's very cute. As a professional ice connoisseur, I approve of this. I want one of these. Simply genius. See, I thought we saw the world's smallest phone in another video, but no. This is actually it. This is a real functional phone. You can actually call people. Call grandma because you don't have any friends. I don't know, but look how tiny this thing is. It is less of the size of a finger. You got space for a micro SD card in it. It's got a little case. What's the point of the case? That thing looked indestructible. It's giving me Nokia phone vibes. You can even charge it. Goodness gracious. They gotta be using these in prison. They be smuggling those things in every hole. This is actually really cool. I am just finding out what this is. So all of these cans aren't real cans. They're containers. To hide your snacks in your snack? Like you just open them up, but they look exactly like the real thing. The Coke even has liquid inside it, but you cannot drink it. Even a spray can, but they're all empty. I'll be hiding my snacks in there. This is one of the coolest things that I have seen on TikTok, but wait, it takes batteries? Why does it take batteries? What does it need batteries for? Yeah, I get it dispenses the milk, but I gotta put batteries in it? I thought it just works with gravity or like a soap dispenser. Oh, but it's so satisfying. You mean I could just have milk instantly? Mango juice with the press of a glass. But you gotta put batteries in it and it's probably not gonna come with the batteries. I hate when they do that. No batteries included, no purchase. On this airplane in Japan, instead of having a shade on the window that you just pull down and close, you can turn the sun off. There is a dark mode for the window. I have never seen this before. So like you can still look outside and look at the sky, look at the clouds, but it's darker. How insanely awesome is that? 
There's a sink attachment that you can buy. At first I was like, what's the point? Hey, who turned the sink on floor mode? Oh, it's in a bucket. <laughs> Somehow I feel like it could go closer. Why is it going so far? Gotta take an Uber all the way to the bucket. I like the fountain part of it. For me, that's the only thing that makes it worth it. That you can just push it and then the water goes out on the top and makes a fountain. Kitchen must-haves from Amazon. I bought this as soon as I saw it. It makes washing dishes so much easier. Like you take the dish soap, pour it in the little container, and then you just you, 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 you smack the sponge in there. Hey, that's the wrong side. Why you put the soap on that side? What about the abrasive side? That's the real scrubbing side. The only thing annoying about this is you gotta like pump it a lot, several times. I like my sponges soapy. There's this makeup sponge shaped like a pineapple and every time you want to use a sponge You just rip off a piece of a pineapple until it is no longer a pineapple only yellow And she ripped that apart real quick She unboxed this light bulb, but it's not just a regular light bulb. It is a floating light bulb Those gotta have some magnet magic going on in this that allows it to float They even got a plant a floating rotating plant it's a party now! Every time I walk by it, I just put my hand between it, make sure there's no funny business going on in the force field. Amazon bathroom favorites. This magnetic hair holder will pick up all your bobby pins or catch them if you toss them into the bowl surface. You telling me there was a device for that? To pick up all the bobby pins on the counter and on the floor or in the inside of your cabinet? I mean, I've just been letting them rot in the corners of my drawer. But no, you can take this magnet holder and just hover over them and it picks it up. There is this sticker net that you can put on your drain that captures all of the hair. So it doesn't go in the drain, it goes on the drain. And when it's got enough hair to make a wig for your dog, that's when you peel it off and throw it away. Unless you're renting. A soft little ball. It's squishy. Squeeze it. She poked it with something. The ball is soap? I thought ball was life. But in this case, the ball is soap. And that hole she poked activates the soap. So when you're like lathering it up, the soap comes out of the hole that she poked. I ain't never seen nothing like it. So I am washing my hands with a soap secretion. I don't know about this one. They peeled off the stickers off a case. Put an iPhone in. Flipped it over. Wait. Wait a second. Why is it invisible? What kind of voodoo magic is this? It's gotta be a green screen. iPhone have backing. How to make invisible past the backing? You do not. Because impossible. Unless you have a green screen, then anything is possible. I thought my wife was crazy making us spend $1,500 on a bassinet. But now our newborn baby is six weeks old and sleeping eight hours every night. Only smart financial decision she's ever made. Put the baby in a straight jacket. You know, I would pay any amount for having a good night's sleep. That was a small price to pay. Not being awoken by the cries of a baby every single hour of the night. Who <laughs> like wraps the baby into a burrito and does the rocking. I don't know much about babies, but this is pretty good. What is this? A light bar? It's got colors on it. I love ripping off the plastic. Only when it comes off in one fell swoop. Otherwise, I hate it. Oh my goodness, it connects to your music? Whoa. Okay, that's really cool. Unnecessary, but kind of necessary. There's nothing worse than having to handle a toilet seat with your bare hands. So I bought this pack of four pastel toilet seat lifters that allow you to lift or lower the toilet seat without getting bacteria directly on your hands. They made a device for it? You stick it onto a toilet seat so you can like lift it and then clean the underside. Or lift it so the boy can go pee. That looks illegal. This dude bought this mirror off Amazon and it is a very long mirror that you can attach to your regular rear view mirror and it's longer. It allows you to see more on the side so you don't have any blind spots. A panoramic rear view mirror. It even has a night mode so the lights don't look as bright. And you just attach it onto the regular one. That's so easy. And I bet it's sold out. I don't know how necessary this is, but there's this little cap that you could buy for your soda can. It just clips right on, and then you could turn it and close it. Will it stay bubbly? I open a thing of soda. I drink it immediately. Or, you know, hear me out. Buy the bottled one. It's got a lid. Real fancy. I thought this was to preserve carbonation, but it's so bugs don't get in your drink. Now I'm thinking about it all the time. I have ingested flies and not realized it. Vegan teacher gonna come at me. Like, oh no, the poor flies. They didn't want you to drink them. Maybe they shouldn't be going inside my drink hole. This is an instant soda can cooler. How fast is that? Oh, it's spinning it. It's gonna be cold, but it's also gonna explode. <laughs> What's the point? Sorry, you want a cold drink now? You gotta pay the price. It will explode when you open it. There are these bathing suits that change color once they touch the water. Whoa, how is it doing that? The orange turns into yellow. They already look wet. Maybe it depends on the temperature of the water. I've seen things like that, but not bathing suits. Go to the beach in an orange bathing suit. Commit a crime. Jump in the water. Suddenly it's yellow. Wait, by the way, if you're wondering, I am doing a wig test for a future cosplay. What do you think?
In this store, there are two kinds of baskets that you can pick up. If you get a pink basket, it means help. I need assistance. Help me when I'm shopping. But if you get a black one, it means leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Don't even make eye contact. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I can shop by myself. Karen's will take the black one and still ask for help. My side of the bed, we got wires, chargers, very messy. My wife's side of the bed, she has this one device that wirelessly charges her iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods at the same time. You know it's probably gonna take all night. I got one of those wireless chargers, think it would be so cool. They take so long to charge your phone. I ain't got time for that. My phone always low battery. I feel like the only time I get to charge my phone is in the car. A tube, but it changes colors. Stuff it in the car, oh, I know what they're doing. Oh, <gasps> whoa. You mean anybody can do this? No, I thought my car was special when I had it. She just shove them in. The little cracks, suddenly you have a gamer car. Color changing ambient lights, very cool. I feel like every car should just have this by default. She unboxed the tiniest little MacBook. But it's not a real MacBook. It's a mirror. It's not a laptop. Cannot even check your email. Not even one. No accepting cookies on this bad boy. Only mirror. He said this is the best way to clean dishes. They made a robot for it now. Dirty pasta dishes, that's gonna break. That is going to break. The wine glass inside there, uh-uh. The fragility of the glass cannot handle that. Also, I feel like this is gonna take so long. And then you have to actually clean the thing that's cleaning the dishes when you're done cleaning the dishes with the dish cleaner. I feel like when you have that many dishes, just pop them in the dishwasher. This is a no from me. It's super easy to make a pancake. She's just watching TV while she's making pancakes, it's gonna burn. You just dip it into the batter, and then when it's done, it falls off? Hey, what about the other side? You didn't cook the other side. Those look more like crepes. I already know, if I bought this, the batter would stick, it would burn, there would be smoke, the smoke alarm goes off, and the she unboxes this egg looking thing. Put some batteries in it. <gasps> That's not an egg. It's a projector, and it projects rainbows onto your wall. I mean, with how gloomy it is outside, this is very necessary. Forget the LED strips. When you can have a whole indoor rainbow. There are these suction cup hangers. I have not had good experiences with these. She says they can hold up to six pounds. It could be a few weeks, it could be a few months, but one random night, I'm gonna wake up to a random boom of whatever was hanging on the hook. There is a grout pen that you can buy. Cause let me tell you, my grout is filthy. It, I feel like it's never gonna be white again. If it's dirty, you can just paint over it. Landlord's taking notes. What is that, a brain? No, it's a shell. A clam. Where's the pearl? Oh, the pearl is the light. This is just a very fancy little lamp. So you charge it and then turn it on and you have a clam light. The pearl of light. Speaking of lights, there is this squishy light. You put it on a color. It has a color sensor. You squish it and then it changes colors. That's pretty cool. First part is I would have no pancakes. There is an automatic shoe cover machine. No filthy feet in my house. You either take off your shoes or you gotta wear one of these. And they make it so easy. You just step in it. What if your foot doesn't fit? What if you're digital next and have a size 18 foot? Then you gotta take off your shoes.